Okay. Uh, you, you you need to mute yourself. If you join if you, if you join to MS Teams, you need to mute yourself, okay? Because otherwise there'll be audio. So all I want from you all to uh to look and do yourself. Okay? Look and do yourself. We are going to go through step by step. And giving you PowerPoint slides or giving you anything a document here will not help so much. I can still create a document, okay? But the video will be the best one. So let's start today, okay? The first thing we'll do, as usual, all the time I do, uh, guys, please, please don't talk now because if you talk, others may not be able to listen uh, clearly, okay? So first thing we'll do is, as usual, I will start with a the basic color, okay? So right click, rename this scene to 01 color. Because we are going to use the color. Okay? Now in this, in this, uh, you have, do you see any difference or in this, in this project? Based on the, your, your other Unity project, do you see any difference? Got the cube in the middle, that's fine. What is that? There is something called global volume. Usually that is not there in any of the Unity projects. Huh? So global volume is used for creating the fog effect, creating the bloom effect, and so on and so forth. We'll use that later. Okay. So first thing we want to do is to create color, simple color. So I'll bring the console over here as well. Okay. So to do that, Go here, right click, create a 3D object, which is a sphere, just a simple sphere. Okay, simple sphere. You can leave it sphere, no problem. Later on, you can change that in. All right. No, this is not a cube. This is actually this global volume. Yeah, it doesn't matter. When you go to the game view, it's not there. Okay. Oh, by the way, we are going to create a simple FPS controller today. You know why? I have given you the code for FPS controller in the uh, in the LMS. Why do we need an FPS controller? I mean, why do we need for our our thing? Do we so that we can navigate the scene and look into the effects very clearly. Otherwise, it's very difficult to control camera right in the game view, right? Yeah. So we are going to create a very simple FPS controller so that we can walk around in the scene and go and look at the effect close by. That's the reason for us to create the FPS controller. But the objective is not the not the FPS controller, OK? All right, so this is the sphere. We are going to apply a color to it. We have already done that using Fragment Shader, remember? But today we are going to use the Shader Lab. So go ahead in the assets folder, create a new folder called shaders. Okay, create another folder called materials. Yeah. Create new folder called textures. And create a new folder called scripts. Scripts, textures, textures. Yeah, because we will be downloading textures and putting it up later on. Yeah. Uh, you create few folders. The first folder is called shaders. Second folder, you can join the MS Teams also. You can look at very clearly. Okay, there is a there is a folder called shaders. There is a folder called scripts. There is a folder called materials. You can create now or you can create later. Now, another very important thing. Everybody misses this part. Okay, guys, listen. Huh? When you create a new game object, what must you do? 
when you create a new game object, what must you do? Name it. Name it is okay. What else? Prefab. 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 No. Uh, defense. Yeah, right. defense. Huh? <laughs> what what should you do as a, as a, as a, as a matter of uh, reset remember always reset otherwise you will have problems that you cannot foresee reset the transform you see your sphere in some other location oh. but it's okay if you want it to be there but all i'm saying is if you want it to be transformed at a certain location you key in the value when you create a game object, reset, reset, reset. Otherwise, uh, you, you, it will not work the way, way you, you want it to work. Because there may be some transform already in place. Okay? This is very important to remember. Okay, so I have my sphere now. So what I'll go, go inside the shader folder, right click, create a new, don't create shader because this is going to be coding based. We want to create shader graph, unlit shader. Unlit. First, we are going to create unlit shader. Okay. Name it 01 color. Color shader. Color shader or something. Create shader graph. Yeah. Shader graph. URP. URP. Unlit. Shader graph. Uh, unlit, eh? So you will be able, you should be able to see something like this, huh? It is like this. Look at the screen if you are if you are not familiar. Yeah. Okay. Go to shader graph. I don't know why it's pieces down, but never mind, huh? So if you go to create shader graph, shader graph URP, unlit. Don't get the big one, huh? Unlit. Big one is separate. So what is unlit? An mm -hmm. unlit shader in UEP shader graph or URP is a type of shader that does not respond to lighting. Yeah? So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so we did make a zero color. Zero one color, color shader. I, I will leave the naming to you, but I like to name it yourself because I want to do I take 10, 15 different variety. But today we don't have time for so many, so we'll go through only two or three. Okay, so you can call it any day. But the thing is, whatever name you do, it should should it should make sense. Okay. So why do we need unlit header sometimes? Yeah, why? Why? There, there, there is a value that, for example, UI doesn't have to be linked. True, true, true. Right. Some, sometimes price doesn't have to be linked. Skybox doesn't have to be linked. Okay, so there are many things that, that does, not, does not require lighting. Okay, so we are going to show you, uh, we are going to create unlit shader first, okay? So after that, go to Unity, double click and open the shader. Double click and open the shader. This is what you will see. Okay. Double click and open the shader. Hello. Can you double click and open the shader now? Double click and open the shader. Okay. In the shader, you will see two different parts. The first part is vertex shader. The second part is the fragment shader. Now we have done all of this using our folds yeah. before, right? So yeah. here you see it clearly. Okay. So this is vertex shader. This is fragment shader. Today, most of the time, we are going to concentrate on the fragment shader. Vertex shader, we have done. Already. Remember the vertex animation. Also, you can do today, but it will take another 30, 40 minutes to do. So no need. 30 minutes to do. So we will leave it as it is. If you want to try, you can try it yourself. I can give you some references. So we are going to only touch here. Okay. Now, if you see here, there is something called base color. What is this? The default flat color. The default flat color, the color that is going to be output to the pixel. I think it's not recording. Huh? Recording one. Huh? 
<laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. No problem. I'm going to record again, huh? Eh? Oh, it started already. Yeah? Uh, I Oh, not sharing my screen. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But recording, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so so basically, this is the color that is going to be output to the pixel. <laughs> okay? Remember, we did last time just put the red color and we see the red sphere, right? So we're going to do the same thing here. Okay? Just for to be uh, to, to be familiar with shader graph okay so this on the left hand side you see something called these are the properties so we are going to create a new property called color okay on the left hand side create a new property called color we call it base color or my color up to you my color okay my color up to you you can basically we want to set the color into the property. So the variable name, you can decide what variable name you want to put. Or you can call base color up to you. You can call base color. You can call original color. It's, it doesn't matter. It should signify what you are doing. OK. Now drag and drop this into here. Okay, then output for this color add set to the input for this. Yes. Okay, so the, those are the properties. Those properties will be available in the shader or in the material later. Okay, that's the reason why we create properties. Huh? So the meaning for this, what is the meaning of this? The meaning is this color is now set as an input to this base color, and this base color is actual output to the pixel. So whatever value I set here, it should be showing that one. Okay, once you are done with this, click the save asset button on the left there, top left. There's something called save asset. Don't press control S, control S doesn't work. Many people have complained in Unity to Unity. Yes, come on. There's a plus button there. On the left hand side, there's a plus button. <laughs> 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 It's like joining the notes, man. Right? Yes. Yes. Can you already save, right? Yes. Save asset. Once you save asset, all of all of all of you are okay so far. Okay, then I proceed. Okay. After that, you can minimize, not minimize, uh, stop the maximize. Okay. Go to the materials now and create a new material. Name it whatever name you want. Okay, I'm calling it 01 color for consistency. Color material, huh? In the materials folder? Yeah. Create, right click, create a new material. Okay, I'm going to, at this point in time, I'm going to draw something on the board. So how Unity works is quite simple. Huh? You need to remember this. So we have a game object, okay? Let's assume this is a game object. It's cute, okay? So this is a game object. All right, into this game object, we attach a material. Material. Okay. Now, this material will call content, can contain many different things. But for for shader graph, 
we only have one peak, which is called Kerala. Okay, so you need to create a shader. You need to create a material, save the shader to this material, apply this material to the game object. Do you understand now? Do you understand? Everybody understands. So create a shader, save the shader to the material, apply the material to the game object. Okay, apply the material to the game object. Okay, so we have created the material now but we have not added the shader. Look at the top right here. There's something called shader. Can you see that? Click there and type your shader name, zero one color shader. Okay? What? The shader that you created, you need to set that shader. Go to the material. On the right hand side top, you will see shader. Yeah. Okay, set the shader to the shader that you created just now. Oh, there is. I think it's logical. Yeah. Okay. I understand. Why do you need your shader? That's the reason why you should remember your name of the shader. Because there are tons of shader there. You will type it. Okay. That's why you see can now you see that the property that we have created is available here, my color. I can set the color to red. Okay, 255. I, I set the material to red color. Now drag and drop this material to the game object. Done. Play, play, we have a red here. Okay, we have red here. As simple as that. So we have created our first shader using shader graphics. Okay. Now, now I can I can duplicate this this sphere. Control D. Okay. Uh, sorry, not shift. I can duplicate this and go to the scene view. Bring it to be a bit this side. Duplicate this again bring it to be on this side. Then I call it sphere red, R, sphere green, green, and sphere blue. Okay? RGB. Now into this material here. Okay, there's a red color. If I change to green color, what will happen? All will become green. Is that what you want? No, right? So what we do, we don't have to change the shader, you see. We just change the material. Okay, we call material R, this one. Okay, then control D. Control D, material, green. Then control D material blue and from the material you just change the color so change this one to blue okay zero two five five so this is blue change this to green which is green already change this to red so zero two five five okay now to the red i apply the red which is already applied to the to the green i apply the green and to the blue, I apply the blue. So this is how you can change the material. You can change the material, but no need to change the shader. Okay, you can create multiple materials. Later on, we'll see when I do the writing, we'll do the same. Okay, so we have created RGB sphere with shaders. This was our first objective. Can play as well. Okay. Okay. Can so far okay. All right. Now go to the scenes folder. Duplicate the scene. 
Okay, duplicate the scene. We call the scene to be texture, zero to texture. Zero to texture. So now and load this scene. Okay, now we are going to apply texture to the object. Okay, remove all the all the spheres. Now we are going to create a basic scene, a very simple basic scene. And we are going to apply our shader into this scene. And then you will see slowly, slowly the effect that that takes place. Okay. So let's create a ground first. Right click, 3D object, create a plane. Make the plane to be five or two. Is five is too big, I think. Let's create two and two. Okay. All right. So I call rename these two floor. OK. Then I create a 3D object called cube. Reset the cube. All right. Then make the, the width to be 20. Okay, depth to be 0 0.1, height to be 3 meters, 1.5. I am creating a wall. Okay, put this to minus 10. So basically, I'm, I have created a wall here. I mean, you don't have to follow my dimensions, okay? You can create your own dimension. It's okay. This one is just I'm creating a scene so that we will build our shaders into this scene. All right. Then we create basically a simple house. Huh? So we are, we are going to create this one we we'll call wall one. Wall one. Control D. Okay, we call it wall two on the opposite side. Okay. Or no need to opposite side, just create halfway. Line. Okay, and then the length, no need to be so long. We create 10, half of it. Okay. Just create a simple, simple house. Control D, wall three. Okay, this one I'm going to rotate by 90 degrees and then fix it to the other side. Minus 10. Okay, I'm bringing this a bit this side. Uh, later on, I'm going to do something here. Uh, this one is, let's say, three. Zero. Okay, I mean we can do it later. Later we can we can do some more. Okay, now I'm going to create two different uh, walls here. Okay, so why I'm going to do? I'm going to show you as well. So this one just control D, or this one control D. So we call it a small wall 
one control d small wall two okay so we have created something like this it doesn't matter okay you can create your own but why i'm creating two side by side because one i will do only and one i'll do late and then you will see the difference of the two lighting incrementally okay face to face all right then create a ceiling also in one corner okay so just we just duplicate or oh no just create a new cube create a cube don't create a plane okay plane may not work so create a new cube and then reset it uh height is 0 0.1 okay and then we have this one to be 3 with call five five somebody's mic is open uh mi microphone is open and eh? sound box uh, not five let's call it ten ten okay i've created a simple ceiling later on we can we can fix it to be correctly okay uh, we don't want the whole thing to be to be there like 15 15 is good enough why i want to see the shadows and all these things later okay Okay, save it. Now, if I look at the game view, it looks like this, but it, I cannot change my view, right? When you want to, when you want to go and see the effects, it's very hard for me to see the effect in the final. So that's the reason why we created the FPS controller. Huh? So I'm not going to spend time on how to create FPS controller. Download the script from the uh, LMS that I shared, eh? Hey, how come my LMS is closed? No, is, is it open or no? Go to computer graphics, uh, go to content, go to week 14, Oh, week 15 sorry and download this fps okay it's a very simple you can you can go and find it out yourself what it does okay the idea is for me to just finish our shading part today so drag and drop to the scripts folder all right please follow okay don't be left behind drag and drop onto the scripts folder If anybody is falling behind, please let me know. I'll wait. Okay, where are you now? Okay, you can build anyone. Doesn't matter. The building, the scene is is not necessary. Follow me. It's it is up to you. You can also open the scene that you have created before. I saw I saw the Okay. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I 
Okay, so now we have downloaded the script, right? But we have we, we want to use it to 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 be our uh, so called uh, first person so what we do is right click on the scene create a 3d object called capsule okay it doesn't matter to be create capsule but it's it's okay even if you didn't create it's never mind okay because the camera we want it to be attached to this one but it doesn't have to be la don't worry so we can scale it to 0 0.5 on the x and 0 0.5 on the z okay and then make it on top of the floor. Make it on top of the floor. OK, now inside the cap. Sorry, it should not be the capsule. It should be an empty game object. Sorry, create an empty game object called FPS first. Create an empty game object. Call it player. We should call it player. OK, player. An empty, then bring drag and drop the capsule inside the player. So basically, the capsule is part of the player. Okay. It's okay. You don't have the capsule, also never mind. I'm going to hide the capsule later. But I want to show you the capsule because if you want, if you want collision, huh, then you need a capsule. But for us, we are not going to have any collision here. Okay. So I, I'm basically trying to show you all different options. Huh? Then drag and drop the main camera to the player. Remember to reset the camera. Okay, reset the camera because the camera is very far away. Reset the camera. Bring the camera to the height of 1.5. Don't go very high. Even one is better because we want to see below also. Otherwise, you are not crouching, right? We are not having the method to crouch. So our camera cannot go down. So put the height to be one. That's height to be one, okay? Then into the player, you attach the FPS. Drag and drop and attach the FPS. There is a camera you see, right? Drag and drop the main camera to the camera. That's it already done. Your FPS, very simple FPS, yeah? You see? Yeah? We can walk around in the scene. Okay, you can walk around the scene and you can see everything. You can look up, you can look down, you can look left, you can look right. Okay. Okay. It's not a realistic one. It doesn't say full one for us. Oh, no. Yeah, if it doesn't stay for one, why my one? Why my cat's 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 one? yeah, I've got the experience. I'm to be able to do it. I'm going 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 to be able to do it. i I'm <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I'm not going to answer that. 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 I'm not going to I don't know. I don't know. I All right, so we are going to go ahead now and start creating our uh, the second one called texture. OK, so go to the shaders folder again. All right, you can look at the MS Teams. Huh? Shaders folder, control D, the color shader. That means we are duplicating. Eh? Call it 02 texture shader. Okay. Yeah, so double click the texture shader is basically the same that we have implemented before. Okay. Now, what do you want to do here? We inside this shader, what we want to do is look at this, eh? look at the screen for a while. What do you want to do? We want to create it. We want to load a texture. And we want to classify the texture color, this color, right? That's what you want to do, right? We have a texture, we are going to apply the texture color, but which texture, which pixel, we don't know. That's why we need a sampler. We need to sample the, the texture and find out the value using UV. UV is a texture color, you know, right? So using the texture content, we'll get the value and we'll take it from. That's what our objective is, okay? So, Look at the screen for a while before you do. Inside on the properties, click on the plus button and create texture 2D. Call it base texture because this is our color texture. I'll leave it to you. This is the main texture that is that is going to look like the uh, that is going to look like the, the picture. Okay. Base texture. Drag and drop the base texture to here. All right. Then you click on this red color button, bring it over here and leave it. You need to call sample texture 2D because we are going to sample the texture. You see, there is something called texture UV. Okay. Sample texture. Are anybody confused? Just click on the red dot, bring it over, release it, it will show you a pop up. Uh, Type in sample texture. 
activity is very user centric. Sample capture. That means we are going to sample the picture using the unit for long part. Yes. You just want to nice smooth that for no smooth. Very low. Very sample In the in the properties. This was in the in the load. The first one was one. Now we don't have any. There's a two. Don't you saw again? Okay, look at the screen. For those of you who did not manage to load it up, I'll delete this. Okay, I'll delete this. I'll delete everything. So click on the plus button. All of you, please look at the screen and do. Click on the plus button here. Call texture 2D. Okay. Now name this texture as best texture or up to you. You can call it color texture as well. Okay. Drag and drop this onto the editor. Click on this red. You see, right? Left click, drag it, open it up. Once you open it up, it, it opens up the node. You can select what node you want. Type in S A M P L E sample there. Sample texture 2D. Double click on it. This is what it appears. Okay. So what does this mean? This means there is a texture. Okay, there is a texture, which is 2D texture. This texture, we want sampling the texture using the UV coordinates. What is UV? Texture coordinates, which comes in the, with the model. Okay, so we are sampling it. Now it can, you can, we are going to use all the four colors. We are not going to use only the red, green, or blue, right? We are going to use all the colors. So drag this and turn it over here. That's it. Drag this, the output of the RGBA, output of the RGBA into the base color. Done. If I didn't do this today, I don't think anybody would have done. Even though I put a lot of e-learning content there. Okay, so that's the reason why I put it in the class today. Okay, let's all go to together. Okay. okay. And this one, once you know how to do it, it's pretty simple. It does, doesn't require any coding. So this is very good for artists or, or, or developers who like to, or designers. You know, it's very good. Okay. So that's how we do the texture. Now, for for if before I continue, I save it, save the asset. Okay. Open your browser. Go to a website called Ambient CG. Just search Ambient CG. Ambient CG, yeah. Click there. You will find tons of assets here. Yeah? I'm using a scroll. I don't know why just now it said that it's just trying it. Ambient CG. Okay, so we will download a few textures, okay? Download one good texture that can be applied on the floor. Download one wall texture, download one uh, brick texture. So brick one because I want to show you, I want to show you the effect, okay? So look at brick and download one of the brick textures. Which one? Don't download, let's download something that is rough, okay? I'm going to download this one. Okay, is it this one? Or let's put a rock and huh? let's look at rock. No, don't download the highest one. Download only the 2K one. You are, otherwise, you will not be able to load. They are giving you so big because if you want to use HDR quality or if you want to use 4K quality, 8K ultra quality, we are not using that. 
Hold on, I'm coming to that. Hey, everybody, wait, go to that website already. Okay, anyone who did not go, just go to the website. First thing we want to download is a texture for the wall, okay? Meaning the two walls, right? Two walls. So I want to download a texture that looks like how? This one, huh? rock or this one? This one, huh? rock material. This is like from planet Mars. Yeah. Okay, never mind. We download this one, okay? So rock 056, download the second, download the second uh, option, a 2K JPEG. Okay, download. I mean, depending on the quality, uh, it can go very, very much detailed. Very, very much detailed. Yeah, I'm going to come to that in a while. Okay, download first. Then go and open the folder. You will see it's a zip file. Right click, unzip it. Oh, there is no 7-zip here. Okay. Then you will see inside the folder, there are a lot of textures there. You see, there is something called displacement, normal, roughness, uh, ambient occlusion. That's the reason why it is very expensive to buy a set. Or it's very expensive because you're not just taking one. Actually creating number of them. And later on, I'll open up each of these and show you. Okay. Hold on for a while. Okay. Keep your attention, please. Okay, open go to Unity, right? So Unity go to the scene view. Inside the textures, there's a folder we create textures, right? Drag and drop the entire folder. Okay? Like this. Drag and drop the entire folder. That time for the rock 56, you unzip, right? That folder, the drag and drop into Unity Textures folder. So you have created a Textures folder right before, just drag and drop there. Okay. Okay, so now let's go to the scene view. Take select one of these two walls. Let's let's put the right hand side wall. Oh, we have not created a material. Sorry, go to the material. Create a new material. Call what? New material, huh? Zero to texture material. Create a new material. We have to create a material. We cannot run away. Huh? We always have to create a material because shader itself doesn't work. Shader must be attached to material. Material must be attached to the game object. Do you understand? Okay. So double click and open the material on the here. Select which texture? Zero to texture shader. Okay. Select the texture from here. There is something called base texture. Remember, we set a property. Select this. Which texture we want to choose? We want to choose rock 56, not the circle one. Huh? Circle one is an icon. Use this rock 56 color texture. So you can actually do like this and do this. Select this. The rock color one, JPEG color. JPEG color. Okay, don't choose the other textures here. Just choose the color one first. There is something called yeah. There is something called rock fifty six underscore two k jpg underscore color. The naming convention is very clear. Okay. Then select that. We are done already. So now we can drag and drop this material onto this object. There. Yeah? Okay. 
the green display. So then anyway, it's all in the video. Yeah, and because it's all CY, it tends to be more practical. You yeah. like it because it's more direct than it comes. Yeah, this whole thing is very good. Yeah. All right. Don't drag the texture onto the floor huh? or onto the wall. That means you are just putting the texture. It's not good to work. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because put the material. We are doing the wrong ones. Put the material. Would you pay the new material? Okay, so guys, just double the material. Double the material. Still at the texture. Texture. Five. Two. Three. Okay. Okay. So go to the the texture shader. You have not saw it. We can save as well. That's why must save the asset, right? Remember that one is a a common mistake. Don't start dragging textures onto the floor and all because then it's not going to work out. Okay, we have to we have to go and see one step at a time. So what you need that Unity automatically creates a shader for you, default shader, and puts puts when you drag and drop a texture. Okay, we do not want to do that. All right. So now you can see, click play, click play. All right. And then go near the wall and see the color from the near there. Yeah? Okay, this one is unlit shader. That means it is not affected by any lighting. Okay, <laughs> this shader is not affected by any lighting. The same texture, guys, the same texture I'm going to apply here with lighting. Then you will see the difference. Huh? Oh, I'll do the texture without dragging on. No, you can't. I mean, we are we are not doing that. We are. If you drag the drag, drag the texture of the wall, Unity is going to create a text shader for you, which is a default lead shader. We are going to use our own shader. The whole purpose is we are writing our creating our own shader. Okay, so I'm I'm explaining how how you can you can create new shader and apply the shader here. Yeah, you can do that, but that means you are not actually applying the the shader that you are creating. Okay. All right. Can we proceed? Everybody, are we okay? You create a material, it's the same process. You create a material first. I showed you here. Create a shader, create a material, <laughs> apply the material to the beam object. Make the material, then you can change the material. Because then the shader will Doing through the material allows you to show the material. Do one more thing before we apply the lighting, okay? Look, open the shader again, call texture shader. Do you see that there is, we have created one base color, right? Right? But we are applying this texture directly here, which is okay, which is right thing. But what if you want to blend the two colors together? Oh. That means you want to you want to multiply the two colors together. How do you do that? Uh, you have yeah. So so can you can you can oh, let's do that part, okay? Combine. So you can you can try other things, but we are going to multiply today. So what we are going to do is here we are going to do from here and create new one called multiply. Multiply there. Okay, it doesn't matter. Both are, both are the same. Okay, you remove this. You remove this first. Then from color, you put to A. This one comes to B. So these two multiply. Then output connect, connects to base color. As simple as that, you see? So you can create very complex mathematical thing, you know, just by using notes.
you have multiply of speed, you have one minus the power, all these are there as nodes. Okay? So now what I'm doing is I'm multiplying the base number <laughs> with the text color. Okay? And then you save the asset, save the asset, go back and play. It will not work now because the material here is black color, you see. Okay, so if I play, it will look very black. Which is which is obviously the case, right? If I play, it will look very black because if black is being multiplied by the color, so it's black. Okay, what I'll do is. What I will do is I'll change this color to something different. Okay, is that? If I make it more reddish, I can make it greenish, I can make it yellowish, and I can have an effect. Okay, I can have it green. All right, so all these allows you, the shader allows you more functionality. Okay, so we, we multiply the base color with the texture color, and we're applying that color to our game object or to the material. All right, so save it. That's all for our unlead. Eh? Unlead, there are a few other things, but I don't want to show, no time already. Okay, so next we'll take five minutes break. Huh? We'll take five minutes break. After that, we're going to start with the, the shading one. Okay, I'm going to apply the shading same on the on the other other wall, and then you'll see the difference. Okay, so let's take a five minutes break. Oh, I see. Oh, bad. Cool. You guys are like man, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys are the next week, when fuck off, I'm like, oh, just going out of my side. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go no, no, it's not the door. This is like the shell, not the the real dark stain. Every chill, 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 uh, no matter how far you are, it is just touches it. It's got the yeah, yeah, you have to do it. It needs to do it. That's what I'm asking. Oh, what's the point? No, because they oh, know your because they are all fine. Because you are like, 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 you are
Oh, then, like, when you get a key, right, you have to get like a big key bar. Correct, correct, it's morning, right? Yeah, just keep the mouse, like, inside the key. Yeah, just keep the mouse, like, inside the key. Yeah, just keep the mouse, like, inside the key. Yeah, just keep the mouse, like, inside the key. Yeah, just keep the mouse, like, inside the key. Yeah, just keep the mouse, like, inside the key. Yeah, just keep the mouse, like, inside the key. Yeah, just keep the mouse, like, inside the key. Yeah, just keep the mouse, like, inside the key. We just collect all five. It's like it's kind of part of the United States right now. Yeah. 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 I should just make the jump scare kill you. I should. Yeah, I have a plan to remind It's just RNG. Yeah, but it's just RNG. You just die right there. Ah, that's me. Here you go, Mr. Yubai, that's fine. I can't tell if you're going to be scared. Play the singer. I don't think there's anything else, right? This is just our ship. Play the singer. Reading my project, but I can't store sure. Okay, buddy. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, look, it's on your, on your platform. So that yeah, it's, that's always fine. Let's get it. Yeah, like when you get flat, like, just stay still. So, like, you gotta yeah, remember that your flat is gone. So, like, you're looking at a spike, right? While well, you get flat, the spike is so good. I right, just don't move it, just look down. Yeah. But in CS, you don't fall for them. Why you can't shrink like that? Why you can't go home? Oh, yeah, and I'm not making you like the audio. You need to do it. It's just not going to do anything. Yeah, because I got to use both this right on board, bro. I'm not touching that right now. I know it's in the in the hierarchy over there, but I'm not touching it. I'm not taking it because probably I'll back off and just. I wanted to do that. Oh. I wanted to do that to the instructor on the right so that I see the music for three minutes. Yeah, but it's, it's difficult, bro. It's easy if you just do like. No, it's, it's easy, I mean, but as in, like, when you do it, right, it right, pops up. Yeah, yeah. It, I think it's easy if you do like the BGM, right? You just make it so like the ends of the BGM are like low volume, so like we can transition, right? Oh, yeah. Like, like this one. Yeah, it might just be the right. Like the pitch is very low. Level. Yeah, level three, but the flashback is funnier. Yeah, they just can't. I think the jump scare is a little too quick. Remember. It does nothing. It just scares you for no reason. It's good. 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 It's what is this? It's more than five minutes. I just all of you, can we start? Okay, let's 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 continue. Okay, so so far we have created. I'm going to change this material to white color. Okay, this one so that it is the pure texture. Okay, is a pure. I mean, when I say white, meaning. So white is what one one multiply by the value is always the same. Okay, so that's why white color. All right, 
so now we are going to create go to the shaders go to the shaders right click is woman here no not here yet okay right click create a shader this time shader graph create a lead shader not unlit shader huh? lead shader l i t lead okay call it 03 lighting or light sh lighting lighting shader okay i'll wait for Oman. Oman, uh go to the shaders right click create a new shader this time create a lead shader yeah not unlit huh? we have been creating unlit unlit from just now but now we are going to create lead shader l i t Name the shader to anything you want to name. You can call it lighting shader. I call it lighting shader. Okay. Double click and open the shader. Now you will see there are a few, few other things. Look at this. There are a few other things. Huh? So on top of base color, which we already have, right? Base color. On top of base color, we have the log. We have the log box. We have the metallic. We have the smoothness. We have the emission. We have the ambient occlusion. Okay. Now we have created the wall, correct? How many vertices will team will be there? Eight. Yeah, eight or maximum sixteen, maybe. You know, you need to make it. Every okay, so basically, in terms of details, let's say depth of the wall, the, the smoothness of the wall, like this roughness of the wall, we need the thousands and thousands of polygons, correct? Mm -hmm. to, to have this feeling. But in about late, in about late uh, 2005, 2002, around there, they came up with this idea that we can use normal, we can use normals. Uh, that means a map, a texture map, which which has the normals, just normals. Huh? You know, normal is a unique vector, right? So they put every unique vector as RGB. So what they do now, they mimic, mimic a very high resolution, uh, so-called vertex array into the picture itself. So now they create multiple normals in, in so basically whenever models create models, huh? They create very high definition ones. They create a normal map from the high definition. And then they reduce the poly for gates. So the high definition normal map is applied to low definition normal, normal power polygon, you know. But the look and feel is like very high. You will see the difference in a short one, okay, when you apply all these kind of things. So this one is based to mimic very high polygon. Okay, this one is to mimic the smoothness or the roughness of the texture of the of the wall or of the object. This one is to mimic whether the object maybe it's light or not. And this one is the is to mimic, you know, you know, even in, in a normal plane, the very high definition uh vertices, there may be some places which are hidden from the light. Like for example, like like you know, this there's a gap between this and this one, right? It's very dark. But when you model, we are not going to model so detailed, right? Yeah. So you can use the ambient occlusion texture map to actually darken this. And these are done automatically by the shader. And these shaders are very complex, complex shader. It has been written by Unity ID. Okay, later on, I'll show you the shader, how it looks like, because you can see the shader. Okay. Now, by default, when you use the normal Unity, that you know the Unity project, regular Unity project, we only use this one. It's color, but of course it's lighting. Okay, the lighting doesn't use ambient occlusion, doesn't use emission, doesn't use smoothness, just use specular, doesn't use metallic, and the normal is from the vertex normal, not the normal map normal. You understand vertex normal meaning if there are eight vertices, there will be eight normals. But using normal map with eight vertices, we can have millions of normals because million pixels what? 1,000 by 1,000 already million, right? 1,000. X by 1000 Y is already million, 1000 times 1000 is million. So imagine 
we are actually mimicking a million vertex with just one image. Okay, so using the normal Unity pipeline, all these are not available. Using the URP, these are available. And obviously, in the HDR, these are available, maybe more than these are available. I don't know. I have not tried it. Okay, so we'll start with these first. We are done with this. We'll start with this, and then slowly, slowly, we'll add all these things, and you'll see the effect. Okay, so same. What we need to do first is the base color, we are going to add a texture, right? So just click texture 2D, call it base texture. Same like unleader. Huh? So drag and drop this base texture. Okay, you are bringing this over here a bit so that we have enough space. Okay, so your base texture, drag this base texture, create a sample. Same thing we are doing. Okay, sample RGB to the base color. That's it. All right. Now to, to see the effect of the texture, you can actually select the texture and, in, and you can load the texture here also. Call rock color, right? So just double click. The texture is here. You can see the texture here. Okay. Save it. Save the asset. These are no different than than unlit. Right? The same like same like unlit. Only thing is that we have not yet associated any of these. We are just associating the normal color, base color only. Save it, then remove the maximize. Go to the scene view. Okay, here in the base, you click the base texture. You will see something graph inspector node settings on the right hand side. Yeah, not graph settings, node settings. Click on the node settings. Oh, default. Uh, so, so the thing is, the thing is, this is the, just a default texture. This doesn't mean that this texture will be loaded. Right? It is for you to visualize only. When you go to the material, you can still see like your own texture. Yeah. So now let's go to the materials. We need to create a material, right? So let's create a material call. Uh, create a material called 03 lighting material. As simple as that, now we create a 03 lighting material. Okay. Into this material, we want to add 03 lighting shader. Okay. No, no change to the texture because the texture is this is the only texture we have right now. Okay. So go to the scene. Drag and drop this material into the here. Look at the difference. One is lighting, one is not lighting. Play. Play. Okay. Go behind. Look at the look at the difference. Yes, of course, it is affected by shadows. There is some shading to it. But it's, the difference is not obvious yet. Huh? The difference is not obvious yet. Later on, I'll show you the obvious difference. So this one is unlit. This one is lit. That means it's lit by the lighting. Like we have a default, uh, default uh, light, right, in the scene. So it can be lit by that light. But we are only adding the normal, only adding, adding the base color only. I was going for that. How are you doing? Which one? 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 Okay. Oh, 
So I have applied the two same textures. One is lit and one is unlit. In this case, the left is lit, the right is unlit. Okay, let's go near, okay? Let's go near and see. I'm going to put the height of my camera a bit high. It is too low. 1.5. Look from the behind. See, look, now you can see that the difference between the lead and the unlead. Eh? Can you see on the screen? The left, left one is not lit. That's why you can see the two color. The right one, since the light is behind, so it is a bit dark because it is lit. The lighting is being applied here. Okay. Now, let's go back to the shader again. We are going to apply the normal map now. Huh? So maximize it. Look at the screen, please. Okay. So what we are going to do now, we create a new texture property here. Click on the plus. We call, again, texture to all our textures, okay? Texture to D. Call it normal, uh, normal map. Okay? Drag and drop this here. Again, go sample. Same thing, eh? Sample, but this time, the type is not default. The type is a normal map. Select normal. Output from here to the normal. OK? So Normal, the same thing, we sample it, after sample, RGB output to the normal. So now we are sending the normal map to the normal channel. Okay, save the asset. 
add a normal map by default. You can add the normal map from here. Huh? So normal don't add the OpenGL, add the DirectX. You can try both. OK, there's slight difference between DirectX and OpenGL. So try this. This is how it looks like the normal map. Huh? I can show you open the file and show you. So normal map looks like this. You see. It looks like this. OK, is each of these value are each of these RGB actually re represents a normal pointing out for the Okay. So now. Save the asset as I told you, save the asset. OK, save the asset. Go back to your thing. No need to change anything because you have already added the. The material oh, have not apply the normal map. Huh? So normal DX. OK, save it. Go to the material and apply the normal map. May it may not be applied. Now click play. You will see the slight difference in the shading now. OK, so let's go back. I maximize it. Look at the look at the difference now. Guys, look at the difference. Look at the difference. These are eight vertices only. Yeah? Eight vertices. Look at the impact like shape. Thank you. I missed something. I also so good. My become the bad. Ah. Okay, I see. Oh, okay, no, I can see. Maybe, maybe you apply. Maybe some of them. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is not bad. Yeah, this is not bad. 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 This is not This is not bad. 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 This is Okay. Why not the normal? Like some anomalous. Look at my save it. Save that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 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 You can try the other section also. Let's try the instead of direct text. Let's try the the open GL one. Uh, see what is the difference. So let's try the other one GL. Okay. Save. Is there any difference? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, there is. I mean, the OpenGL one is on the reverse side, you see. On the opposite side. So this may not be correct. So that's why you need to choose DirectX. Yeah, that's the reason, exactly. So you need to choose. That's why I was saying choose some brick where you can see the effect. Okay. You can see the see that the effect, huh? You can see the effect already. Okay, so next we are going to apply is the next effect, which is called the displacement map. OK, let me show you what does it mean. Hey, why this is always this thing comes out? I don't know. This bar very difficult. MS Teams, so much money still do not know how to create proper UI. Yeah. <laughs> OK, so let's open the lighting material again. Oh, not material, sorry, the shader, my mistake. Shader again. OK, maximize it. Now. I have created slides for all these, huh? but I think we'll just. OK, so 
The next one we are going to apply is something called uh, fullness. Or, or uh, we are going to apply the displacement. Huh? Okay, it's not here. So we are going to apply all of this in a short while. But there is something called displacement map as well. Okay, displacement map is again another texture map that displaces the vertices to create to create some kind of kind of you know. Uh, like actual uh, so some kind of feeling, you know, you'll see. So displacement map is not applied to any of the channels. Huh? Displacement map is for what? To change the UV. Because the UV are fixed, right? Using displacement map, we can change the UV. Okay? Why, why, why is that necessary? It's not necessary at all for our level. But as, as you play games, as you appreciate games, you are more and more better realistic feeling, right? So that's the reason artists have come up with all these techniques. Okay, so now we are going to apply the displacement map. You may not see the difference at all, but let's see if you can find the difference, okay? So we are going to add another texture called, texture 2D called displacement map. Displacement map. Now this displacement map is a bit different. Huh? We are not going to uh, create displacement map and RGB. Instead, we are going to recreate the UV. Huh? So how do we do that? We will create something called, okay, let's add the sample first. Huh? Sample 2D texture. Sorry. Uh, this is not going to create sample 2D texture. We are going to create something called a parallax, parallax mapping. Ah, parallax mapping is what? Parallax mapping is like, you know, RGB is encoding the information for height. Height map, mm -hmm. like bump map, right? You know, the RGB is actually applying the bump map. So you can, you can imagine it to be like a height map, okay? And then you see all these UVs, right? This output is a new UV. We are going to add this UV to this channel. We are going to add this UV to this channel. That means what? What are you doing? The UV is coming from vertex shader, correct? We are taking the vertex shader UV. We are using this to change the UV using the displacement map. And the change UV, we are going to apply the display. You understand? If I don't do this, if I don't create this, uh, this UV is coming from the vertex shader. That is the one modular created. Okay? If that one is what you're doing, the modular created is coming to this one. Okay? We are using the displacement map to change the UV a bit and apply the UV to this. So we are not using the UV that, that is coming directly from the model. We are changing the UV using this displacement map, and we are going to apply it. You will not find all this lighting in the normal render pipeline. Okay, in the HDR, even more complex. That means it allows a lot of different other things. <clears throat> As I told you, it also allows ray tracing. This one is URP. Okay. Let's see if there is any difference or not. Okay, let's save. Save the file. Save the asset. Okay. Save the asset. Unmaximize it. <coughs> select the material. Now select the displacement map. See, they have given a displacement map as well. Yeah, JPG displacement. Okay. How does it look? Let's see how does the displacement map look. It looks like this. It doesn't make much sense to us, but it's actually a pump map. Sort of a pump map, right? Uh, it should be applied to a rock. We are applying it to a wall. So I don't know how the effect is. Okay. All right. So let's save it and let's play. Okay. I'll go, I'll maximize it. Then let's go and see. Yeah.
Okay. Look at this lead and unlead, the different difference between the lead and unlead. You can see the because it depends on the texture the texture of the texture of the texture of the texture of the texture the texture the texture of the 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 Okay. Okay. So, so unlit one looks like a flag. Flag some look like okay, you can really can feel the, the roughness there. Okay. We want to apply one final, one fine, one or two final. Okay, I don't know. Let me see. Okay, go to the lighting shader again. Go to the lighting shader again. Okay, now we are going to apply smoothness and ambient occlusion. Huh? Two more things directly we apply. We don't want one by one, okay? We are, we are losing time. So just smoothness and ambient occlusion. So, but, you see, uh, look at the image picture. They gave you a roughness, not the smoothness. So Unreal, Unreal takes in roughness, whereas Unity wants to be set different, right? So Unity takes in smoothness. So how to do that? What map? Uh, one minus. Uh, Very yeah. good, yes. You just add in a node. That will go from roughness to smoothness. That means one minus the color value. Okay, as simple as that. So let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, one minus no. <laughs> right. All kinds of nodes are there, Unity. So you just need to use it wisely. Okay, so let's create another texture today. We call it roughness. Okay, roughness. And then drag and drop the roughness here. Okay. Same thing, we are going to create a sample, sample 2D, output of the sample 2D, we are going to add to what? One minus, one minus, okay? This one minus output, we are going to add it to the smoothness. See? Yeah. And then the UV, the same UV coming from the parallax, okay? Same UV. Yeah, UV all will come from the parallax because the UV has changed already. Okay. Now you can choose a texture here up to you or you can just go to the material and choose. Okay, so I'll save the asset here. And then also we will do the ambient occlusion huh, at the same time. Okay. So ambient occlusion is the same. Create a new texture to D, call it ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion. Occlusion meaning occlude. I cannot see one. So ambient occlusion map. Okay. Same thing with drag and drop the ambient occlusion. Go and sample. Sample. All right. This ambient occlusion, you go and add it to the output of the RGBA, add it to the ambient occlusion. Okay. The UV will come from the, yeah. As simple as that.
So we have added ambient occlusion. We have added the uh, rock lens, which you call that the school lens. We have added the normal map, and we have added the normal cover. Okay, save it. Save the asset. Then go go to the material and add this to texture roughness. Add the roughness one. What is it? Roughness. Ambient occlusion. Add the ambient occlusion. Okay. Save it. Click play. Ambient occlusion is there. Some some may 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 not have. So depends on which one you downloaded. Some maybe maybe doesn't have. Look at the picture now. Okay, the the specular highlight is too much, huh? The metallic feeling is too much. So we have added a number of effects to, uh, not effects, but a number of uh, lighting to it. Okay, you can you can shift around. Yeah, it's very shiny, so you can change the shininess here. You can actually go here. You can change the metallic value. Okay, the metallic is zero, right? So you can change the metallic to specular. You can change the metallic to specular. Hey, what is it? Ah, you can change the metallic to specular. Ah, hold on, let me explain first. Huh? You can change the metallic to be a specular. There is a setting there, but you see, because it's a, it's supposed to be rock, you know, the 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 reflectivity of this one is very high. You know why is it appearing like this? Huh? Because it's reflecting this 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 wall. Like too much of reflectivity. Uh, you can do that as well. Yeah, you try. Did you try? Yeah, okay. The good. I mean, there are a lot of ways you can uh, play around. Huh? So you can go to graph settings. You can put the meta as a metallic. Okay. So we are done with almost every uh, all the things. I want to show you. About 4.30, I'll show you the final one, okay? No need to change, also can. You can actually click here. You can click on the graph setting, and instead of metallic workflow mode, you can change to specular, okay? But but metallic is good, because by default, you really choose metallic, okay? You can leave it as it is. I did not change. I did not change. A graph. Settings. Select. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm going to use the next few minutes, huh? Without, without, uh, without doing what I, I mean, without going to much detail, I'm going to apply the same material that I'm applying here into the floor, into the walls, but with different textures. Okay. So download some more textures from the from the ambient. CG, okay. Let's download the wood. Let's download wooden texture. Okay, I'm going to download the wood. Which one is nicer? This one. Okay, I'm going to use this as a wood floor. There, wood floor. I download this, the 4K version this time. Let's see. <laughs> okay. I'm going to apply this to the floor. One by one, huh? so I unzip it first, extract all. Okay, and then I drag and drop to my Unity. JPEG, JPEG. 4K, this time I downloaded 4K. 
8K, I don't know whether your computer, your computer will be able to load or not. It will become very slow. Yeah, I try, try, try. So I'm going to use the same but material. I'm going to call a new. So I'm going to duplicate the lighting material huh? and then call it, call it lighting floor. OK, lighting floor material. No, you can duplicate from the lighting material because the same material. We're not going to change it. Only the textures will change. OK, the texture for now, I'm going to use what? For the floor, I'm going to use the floor color. Normal map will be floor normal. Displacement map will be floor displacement. Roughness will be floor roughness. And ambient occlusion will be floor ambient occlusion. OK, save it. This material now I drag and drop to the floor. Look at the floor now. OK, look at the floor now. OK, look at the lighting now, the shadow and all crisp shadows. Are. How about we put a TV inside the room? You want? We put a TV that plays the video. You know how to do that? Anyone knows? Let's put up. Okay. Yeah, video player. We'll use a video player. Okay. Let's go inside the room and create. Uh, in the wall here, huh? we create a new, new cube. So I, I control D, I bring the cube outside. OK, I put this one to be four, this one to be three, four by three or four by 2.5. Eight. I did not control the control the okay. So four it is actually two point five. Okay. Yeah, we have we have put this one here, a wall TV, right? So let's into this this wall add a component called video player. Okay, video player. Go to Pexels. You know there is there is website. Oh my God! Again, this thing come up. I put here, Pexel. dot com. You can you can download free videos from here, but but only small, small videos. So let's look at some video. These are videos, MPEG4 video. OK, let's download this video. OK, then we call it sample video. Sample video. OK. Drag and drop this sample video into the our Unity textures. Huh? Hey, what is this? Is 
Yeah, I don't know what is the error. Or oh, is it haven't finished downloading? Maybe. Okay, never mind. So we'll drag and drop this into the video clip. Or oh, something is wrong, eh? With the video clip. I don't know I don't know. I just grabbed the one that I really had. Yeah, it's okay. You can you can try, but I don't know. My my this this one is not loading. I'm not sure why. Eh? Okay, I'm not expected type stamp detector. I don't know what is happening. Never mind. Okay, and then you click on loop. Let's play, okay? Yeah, you can drag either text there. Yeah, that video is playing now. But it is very dark. Why? Because there is no lighting is applied to it. Lighting is applied to it. So we want this kind of the self emitting, right? So we don't want lighting here. So what you do is you can go to this object, okay? Go to this object, lighting, cast shadow off. Okay, element lit, right? Change it to unlit. Or, eh? Uh, <laughs> default, default sprite. Let's see. Okay, it's inverted. I don't know why it's inverted now. Because I use a different shader. Okay. You can try multi different types of uh, default diffuse. Default particle. We have the default texture, right? Texture material. We use this one now. It's okay. Oh, 
this one's different. This one not work. I, I think I need to do it. Mine works like this. 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 Oh, I know. I think that I mean called her. Sixty-eight, right? It's not down. Yeah, sixty-eight. Okay, if you if you click your object, you can click it. I just deleted a few, it went up. This is. Oh, yeah, and I have a video. Thank you. Okay. Maybe just skip it. It'll be a bunch of the game. I'm going to play it first. This is it. I'm going to play it for you. That's it. Sorry, but yeah. I'm going to play it for you. I'm going to play it for you. I'm going to play it for you. Can you just open this up? Yeah, I'm going to play it for you. Yes, 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 you <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. You know it's you know it's a soft and exit. I was like two GB go. This 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 is really rock texture. I don't think we can use for the wall. Okay, look at the 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 reflection, metallic rock kind of thing. So I'm going to apply. Into other walls, I'm going to apply uh, different kind of texture. Then, in another few minutes' time, I'm going to show you the last final effect. Okay, so let's let me download a few more textures. I have downloaded the the wood. Okay, uh, which one should I download? Eh? For wall. Let's put wall. OK, <clears throat> there are a few different types of walls. OK, one of them is something like plaster. Uh, we can apply this one. Plaster. OK, one wall I apply plaster 06. See how it looks like.
so plaster. You can experiment for a while, OK, with all the other textures. Then in few minutes time, we are going to. Do the final. Effect. Lighting floor, control D, lighting wall. Control D, lighting wall. Plaster color. Plaster normal. Plaster displacement. Plaster roughness. And plaster occlusion, ambient occlusion. Plaster. So oh, doesn't have the ambient occlusion. Plaster. Yes. It is stretched. I think in the, the the texture is stretched because it is too long the wall. We have to pile the texture. Uh, scale three, comma three. I thought I can know them. It's still a one in the event. I think the, the shininess is too high. <laughs> OK, anyway, never mind, OK? Let's download something that is not so shiny. Yeah. This one also will be very shiny, I think. Anyway, let's look at the last final effect. OK, all of you now spend ne next 15 minutes. Look at the look at the screen. OK, I want to create a glowing sphere. That's the final objective for today. All right. For the other walls, I will just drag and drop the texture. OK, you don't worry too much. Last 20. Plaster two. Okay. All right. Um, let's let's continue to create the final effect, which is the sphere. Okay. For that, we will create a sphere somewhere around here. Look at look at the screen, please, guys. For the next fifteen minutes, okay. Let's let's try. Try to create. We'll create a sphere. Create three D object sphere. Okay. Let's make the size to be two, two, two. Yeah. I did not reset because it's 
we are not attaching anything. We, are, we just want it to be here. Okay. Let's see if it is in the card. Yeah, in the, it's fine. All right. Now, right, go to the shaders, shaders, create our final shader. We call create, uh, where is it? Shader. Okay. Actually, we can duplicate the lighting shader. Okay. Just duplicate it. Control D. We call it four, four, uh, M. We call it uh, glowing. It's not actually glowing, it's emis emission, huh? but it's never mind. Glowing shader. It looks like glowing. Okay. Double click and open here. All are okay. We can just remove the ambient occlusion. Huh? Ambient occlusion is not needed. Uh, yeah, duplicate the 03. Uh, zero four uh, glow. Remove the ambient occlusion. Re rest of the things you can keep it. Just remove the ambient occlusion uh, node. Okay. All right. Now into the add a color here. Go here. Create a color. Uh, we call it. Uh, glow color. Okay. Select this color, go here in the mode. Instead of default color, use HDR, high dynamic range color. You know, high dynamic range gives much higher range. It's, eight, it's not one character, meaning one byte for one color. It's eight bytes for one color. Okay. So cho choose the HDR. Then select this one, go to the extreme corner here. Okay, select intensity to be three or four. Three is good enough. Okay, three. I just wanted to show you. Okay, now this glow color, bring it over here. And then from, from glow color, add it to the emission. Add it to the emission here. Very simple, huh? add it to the emission here. Save the asset. Okay. Now, plug it straight to emission. Uh, plug it straight to emission. Correct. But you need to change it to HDR range. Huh? Then we go to the ambient here, download something called lava. I don't know. I mean, any texture will do as well. Even the rock texture also will do, but this one may look slightly better. I don't know. Okay, we call lava, download this texture. Okay. Ah, okay, download it already. Extract it. All right. Go from here and drag and drop into the textures folder. Okay. Now go to the materials, duplicate the, the, the lighting material, huh? duplicate the lighting material and call it glow material, 04 glow material. Okay, then into the glow material, use 04, our glow shader. Okay, then you can choose the color from here as well. Now, the base texture, I want it to be the lava, lava color, lava normal. What is it? Lava normal, lava displacement, lava displacement, and lava roughness, roughness. Okay, save it. Go to the sphere. What is the sphere? Drag and drop this material, glow material, into the sphere. Click play. Look at that. Look at the glow effect on the sphere. Okay. You can use this for your headlamp or you know. Uh, Okay, you can use it for for lights. You can use this for something. You can you can make the the scene dark by covering the whole thing. That means that uh, you cover the ceiling, cover the wall, 
you will still see the growth potential. If you don't use HDR, it will not be like this. And the this volume, right? The growth volume, the global volume is effect is used for creating the volume effect. Yeah. So that's all for today. You can use the next 15 minutes to do the uh, emission. Emission. Yeah, not about the extra. Click here. Okay. Click here. Oh, it's a little Logan piece is just a color. Oh, just a color. Yeah. Sometimes it, it can also be a texture. Okay. Uh, you can then use a sample to detect texture and connect it. But now know. we are using the color. Yeah. Yeah. No, you need to choose the HDR. Select the blue color. Oh, yeah, okay then. Fine. Thank you. Really oh, just now you see. Okay. So now using primitives itself, you can create a very nice scene with a very nice effect. Just using primitives, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why not Let's see. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's check maybe some some settings. Three or such as but it should be HDR, okay? Yeah. Oh, you can stroke the orange and yeah. What's not that? Uh, you can see the size of the video. Oh, you can see the size of the video. Oh, Okay, so so now you should be you all should be capable of writing using your data graph, even for GMDB, yeah. You can use LRP 2D for creating 2D project. I think I tried. Okay. Is it okay, everyone? Next week there is no lesson, so don't don't come down for lesson. I'll remind you again on LMS. Okay. Next week the lesson will be just go and do the e-learning part because I've given you a lot of content there. 
from Unity Learn website. Huh? You can use it or you can just create your own. Uh, just go and create your assignment. Next week, also, guys, please listen again. Hello, everyone. Next week, also, there won't be uh, lead text. I want to do it the next Monday. But this one, I cannot put on the elements announcement. I will put on the box. Okay. okay, because elements is controlled by somebody else. So, why? Because next whole week, I'm not around. I'm not there in Singapore. I'm going to Australia for a conference. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you want to go, I'll go and uh, create uh, uh, some sort of sort of collaboration to bring students and students to the right? But that, that will only happen next year. But also, it's very expensive. So if you want to go, minimum $3,000. Oh, 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 no, oh, we can't take it. Economy. Economy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, people like the goal, I want to create the opportunity for you all, okay? I depend on all the same from your PSD account. Okay, can you? Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. So, are you coming next week here? No, I won't. Okay. Don't come down for uh, lead act, don't come down for this class, okay? For this class, you have to be learning. Do that, I'm going to next Monday. Next to next Monday. Okay? Lead act, what you are supposed to do next week? This week, you are supposed to come. You are supposed to present, pres do the make the presentation, huh? remember? But this week, still have, which is tomorrow. Okay. Have right? Oh, no. Yes. Yeah. Next time tomorrow. Huh? Oh, I'm learning or testing. Okay. 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 Wait. So fast you want to go already? Did I say you can go? How? How did you all find today? Okay. Yeah. Was it effective? Yeah. I know because I I told all of you to go to Dubai yourself. Yesterday was the same class. I asked how many of you done. Nobody raised their hand. So I thought it's a good thing to do in the class itself. Okay. Everybody is on the same page now. So it should be okay now. Yeah. All right. Was it was it useful? Yeah. 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 Try to use it more often, huh? And it can get very nice. And there are many other effects on okay? okay, you can find some video tutorials in YouTube. You know, it creates a wave, and when the wave touches the, the object, you can get the effect. All in three there's no need for any other special things. Okay? Okay, now you can go. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I also want to rush home because later I have lesson from 7 to 10. If I stay here, then very late I go home. Which one? Coming, coming. Hold on, huh?